Nihilism is a philosophical concept that often evokes strong reactions such as fear, confusion, and sometimes even relief. Ah. And at its core, nihilism is the belief that life lacks inherent meaning, purpose or value. And this idea, of course, has both intrigued and troubled thinkers, artists and everyday people throughout history. Now, to grasp the essence of nihilism, we need to explore its origins, its implications and how it challenges our understanding of existence and why you're so cute. Now, the term nihilism comes from the word, Latin word, actually, nihil, which actually means nothing. And it was popularized in the 19th century by the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. Who else? Woohoo! Nietzsche's writings often grapple with the idea of meaning meaninglessness in a world where traditional sources of meaning, such as religion and moral absolutes, are questioned or rejected. And Nietzsche famously declared, God is dead, God remains dead, and we have killed him. And this quote wasn't just about the end of religious belief. Okay, no, it actually symbolized the collapse of absolute values and the search for new sources of meaning. In a world where long-standing certainties are gone, nihilism emerges as a response to the void left behind. Nihilism has several different ideas, but they all revolve around the idea that life lacks intrinsic meaning. But of course, let me explain some key aspects, okay? We have metaphysical nihilism, moral nihilism, existential nihilism. Now, metaphysical nihilism. This form of nihilism argues that reality itself is meaningless. Aww. It questions the very nature of existence and suggests that the universe is indifferent to our struggles and desires. And in this view, the cosmos has no purpose and any meaning we assign to life is purely subjective. So me calling you cute is purely subjective. Moral nihilism, moral nihilism, or, you know, ethical nihilism, in other words, suggests that there are no objective moral values or truths, okay? According to this perspective, moral statements are meaningless because they do not correspond to any absolute moral facts. If nothing is inherently good or bad, then ethical judgments are based on personal or cultural preferences rather than universal truths, correct? Then we have, of course, existential nihilism. And existential nihilism focuses on the individual experience of meaninglessness. It suggests that life has no inherent purpose or value, leading individuals to confront the stark and dark and haunting reality of their own existence. And this form of nihilism often leads to feelings of despair or existential dread as individuals grapple with the realization that their lives might be inherently meaningless. Now, moving on, let's talk about the implications of nihilism. The implications of nihilism. Nihilism has profound implications for how we live our lives and how we under our, understand our place in the world, okay? It challenges us to question the foundations of our beliefs and to confront the possibility that life might not have a great cosmic purpose. Now, in regards to implications, let's talk about some key implications, okay? So I want to talk about personal freedom and responsibility. Because on one hand, nihilism can be liberating. It can feel freeing, you know. Oh, great, life has no meaning, I'm free. If life has no inherent meaning, we are free to create our own purpose and values. This freedom can lead to a sense of empowerment as individuals are not bound by external standards or expectations. However, it also comes with the responsibility to find or create personal meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe, okay? 
Then there's existential anxiety. Okay, everybody knows anxiety. You know when you're at Starbucks trying to order a coffee and it comes to the time where you have to order coffee and then you're shaking and you don't say cappuccino, you say machetino, you know, that stuff. Oh my God. The realization that life may be meaningless can lead to existential anxiety or, you know, depression. And confronting the void can be overwhelming and some may struggle with feelings of futility or despair. Nihilism forces us to grapple with our own existence and the lack of inherent purpose, which can be a difficult and unsettling experience. Then we got, you know, creativity and innovation. Now, despite its challenges, nihilism can also create creativity and innovation. Uh, when traditional structures and meanings are questioned, individuals and societies are then free to explore new ways of understanding and engaging with the world. Nihilism can encourage people to invent their own values, pursue personal passions, and redefine what it means to live a fulfilling life. Now, we want to maybe respond to nihil nihilism, okay? Given the challenges posed by nihilism, how should one respond? How should we respond? Well, there are several approaches, okay? One, we need to create personal meaning, okay? One response to nihilism is to embrace the freedom to create personal meaning. And one of my personal meaning is that all of you guys are fantastic, bombastic, and just super duper fantastic and lovely cute people, okay? That's one of my personal meanings in my life, really, no cap. Instead of relying on external sources of purpose. Individuals can choose to find or build meaning in their own lives through relationships, passions, and maybe personal achievements, okay? Secondly, one way to respond to nihilism is through philosophical engagement. Now, engaging with nihilism philosophically can be a way to better understand and uh, address its uh, implications and situations that it might create in your life. Once you think oh, yeah, everything's meaningless, you know, it's very hard to get out. So it's good to have a philosophical in engagement with nihilism by exploring different philosophical perspectives and seeking ways to navigate the absence of inherent meaning. Individuals can find strategies for coping with existential uncertainty. Uh, thirdly, uh, how to respond to nihilism, I'd say, is that we need to embrace absurdism, okay? Because some find peace in absurdism, okay? A related philosophy uh, that acknowledges the inherent meaningless of life, but also that suggests that we can still find joy and fulfillment by embracing the absurdity, okay? People drive, you know, uh, tins of steel with four wheels. It's a very absurd world, isn't it? Absurdism, as articulated by Albert Camus, encourages us to live fully and passionately despite the lack of cosmic purpose. If you want to know more about absurdism, read the book Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. It's a guy, he pushes a boulder up the uh, mountain because um, he got punished and then the boulder comes down and he, put, uh, he just uh, pushes it up and Albert Camus just says, hey man, just imagine, you know, Sisyphus as a happy per uh, person and absurd, um, sorry, and embrace the absurdism okay that's going on so nihilism with its focus on meaninglessness and the absence of inherent value is a very challenging and of course thought provoking philosophy okay uh, maybe when you're thinking of nihilism uh, your eyes become cross and you look cuter than you are and while it can lead to existential anxiety and a sense of despair it also offers of course chances uh, for us to think about okay uh, which lead to personal freedom and creative exploration. Now, by confronting the void and seeking our own sources of meaning, we can navigate the complexities of nihilism and find ways to live more truly uh, in a world that unfortunately <laughs> may be indifferent to our struggles. So, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for listening and please uh, subscribe and share this video with other people i'm really really trying to get monetized on youtube because uh, i want to of course make an extra income for myself 
Uh, I'm going to be serious with you and true with you. I really, really, really love philosophy. I like creating content about philosophy. So, you know, I always believe that if you ask other people uh, for help, they will help you. Uh, my basic philosophy is that the world is going to help me move from A to B. So if you guys want to help me, then sure. Thank you so much.